What up guys, this is Ben Clark over at Lincoln Tech. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown today on how to run the Piranha 3 tungsten grinder. Um, what this is is a self-contained diamond wheel. So basically what we have is your on-off switch right here. This is your cone degrees. So this is going to be to set the degrees to which the pitch of your cone is. Um, usually the magic number I'd say is between 22 degrees and 28. Some people like it more, some people like it less. Um, here you have your slotting sizes everywhere up from a uh, on this one you have about a one millimeter all the way up to a four eighths which is a three sixteenth um, 4.8 millimeters you know three sixteenth um, all the way down to a sixteenth even smaller but you won't find tungsten often like that um, basically what you do is you'll load your tungsten into your uh, pin vise and what you're gonna do is basically when you insert this while it's running you'll be uh, either clockwise or counterclockwise um, turning this. What you wanna do is try and keep a nice consistent turn width so you can get a nice even cone. An even cone will give you a more stable, better arc. So we'll turn it on here. Nice and quiet. Um, this thing's really user friendly. You don't have to worry about you know the grinding wheel blowing up, dust. Um, it all stays self-contained in here. So there we go. Load this into the 330 second slot. And you'll notice I'm just turning it nice, slow, and evenly to give it that good cone shape. Right now I got it set somewhere at, yeah, about 28, 27 degrees. And yeah, it's given us a pretty consistent... If you'll notice, the top is a little... Uh, Sorry, my camera can't focus that fine. The top of this tungsten is actually a little weak. Um, yeah, it's not gonna focus on that. So, oh there. The top of the tungsten is a little weak. So what we have right here is a notcher. And what this does is it actually takes away that pointed tip so it won't break off into your weld puddle. Um, as the tungsten heats up, it becomes really brittle. So we wanna get rid of that kind of warp top. So we'll find the 332nd hole, give her a little dab. And again, my camera is not gonna pick it up too well, but it's actually just a flat top now, so you won't have that busted piece of tungsten flying into your weld and causing a defect. And that's the basic rundown of the Prada 3. Uh, we'll hope to see you next time.